hello and welcome back to ej news thank you so much for clicking in and please consider subscribing of course we've seen so much of the story of jean and solomon and so i'm not going to narrate all of it but i am going to do a review so that we can try to understand and get into a few more details and of course um <clears throat> sorry as much as jane still insists that she is innocent we can say that god solomon and jane are the ones who know the truth of the matter but this story has got loopholes well many people were saying in the comment sections of different uh, videos of this story that she could be innocent considering that after all these years she's still saying that she is innocent I almost went into the video watching with that kind of mentality that, you know, leniency that maybe she is indeed innocent. But then after watching and comparing, I think I don't believe her. The first one is uh, is this video about uh, her saying that her husband was abducted. Well, compared to what the citizen said is that they noticed that the man was missing after he did not show up to pick papers for his boys. So if he, indeed he said that he was, I mean, uh, the way she's saying that he was missing, you know, he was abducted, then why didn't she report immediately to the police? So it kind of doesn't make sense at all to me. The second loophole is how she said, uh, they they were they got together in 2015 and then they got married in 1999 uh of course that is not making sense but we can say maybe she was a bit confused um we can go into the way she talk she she was just blabbing uh she was you know trying to justify herself and you know when someone tells you um uh when when someone tells you they, they cannot do something that is exactly what they usually do so the way she's saying she's not going to justify herself exactly she's trying to justify herself and saying the word my husband so many times uh and she she also portrayed her husband as a coward from the beginning and even though she tried to portray him later as a loving man then we come to the other point uh the other loophole well there's this guy called caris who gets to explain that indeed this woman got out of the house uh past uh midnight so how did he know and then she goes ahead and admits yes she went out of the house past midnight to to get milk okay how was the loving husband asleep and let a woman go out to look for milk Sasaba za usiku. And wait, anaenda kutafuta maziwa wapi? Kwa shopping center ya ushago. You all know that in the villages shop close by Satatu. You know, uh, so for me, it really doesn't make sense. And of course, the other point is about uh, her appealing. You see, in a cases where you're given uh, a case that is tough, well, I think the judges were a bit lenient with her. Maybe walichukulia kama a uh, case of... Uh, passion you know crime of passion uh so they only give her 30 years so she knows very well this was a premeditated case where she would even get a life uh you know she would be condemned so that is why she cannot appeal because if she got 30 and then she go ahead and appeal then she's gonna get the rest of her so tell me how is she innocent but decides okay nisawa too let me just say seriously these are kind of loopholes that we cannot afford to ignore anyway ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think thank you so much for clicking in and remember to subscribe thank you for your support i appreciate